Hey everybody, so at Columbus today, um, I don't know, Columbus is definitely a good market. There's a, a bunch of different, different YouTubers that, that, you know, I swear I started, um, my buddy tall Dan, um, he's, uh, he works here. So it's just a good market. Uh, one man's junk. He uh, he also shops here a lot, and I don't know if you if you guys can. Uh, they're they're trying to get to their thousand subscribers, but if you can check out their uh, channel uh, and uh, give them some love, that would be great. But hopefully we find something good today. I need to pick up a ton of uh, silver plate. Um, I'm gonna take a bunch to the smelter. So, hey Benny, how you doing? Ooh, silver box. Um, I'm still trying to get Benny to start his his uh, YouTube channel. I don't know. It's definitely a definitely a good motivator thing to get you out here and uh, go shop. Or find stuff so you have content. But it seemed like I was always... Feels like you're missing something if you don't come to the flea market. You never know what type of deal you're going to get. Or what collection you're going to find. Alright, I'm going to go try to find that guy I bought a bunch of house clean out stuff from yesterday. Or last week, if it was down this way. All the... All that dollar from here and that all the way down and over there and these are three bucks. Alright, I'm gonna get the ducks. There's some weird stuff. Do you have anything for me? Um, you should start putting together stuff you don't want anymore. That's like lots that are like you're right. Yeah, I've been selling all my lots though online. It's and it's okay, but if you have stuff. Yeah, no, I, will you keep it in mind? I, I will. I, I definitely have uh, some foreign coins and stuff out. Older foreign coins is good. Okay. As long as they're older, you know. So if I can put on a dollar table, it's fine, you know? You know what that is? Some sort of well, vertebrae. Yeah. yeah. Look, Probably some kind enough. of Indian yeah. uh, stuff. Yeah. Good thing. Yeah. Geos. I don't know yeah. the name of this thing. Yeah. I, see, I used to know all the names. I don't know. Yeah. Them. I like that enamel flower. Yeah. Can you see the bumps like that? Might be the, the my favorite. favorite of the day. Mm, is that a pin? It is. Man, I'm almost at five dollars. He did have some nice stuff. Oh, that's good, yeah. Well, they laid out a lot of money. And you know what's the problem in this business? You lay out money and then, you know, you make money, but then you got to put it all back, you know? Yeah, to go find more stuff. And it's not like order bras. I'll take a 36 size in pink, a 12 dozen. If you can't order it, you know. Yeah, you have to. You gotta like make it happen. Or... And, and this stuff is slowly disappearing, so it becomes harder and harder. You know what I mean? Yep. Am I right? No, I, I agree. And it... then, if less and less people are in the business, less and less people to get shit from. And there's good and bad to it, though. You know, like you're a young guy, right? How old are you? I'm just a. Uh... You're pretty young. Yeah, I'm about 40. Right. I'm, you know how much older I am and he is than you? <laughs> We're senior citizens. Tell them. <laughs> but, yeah, no, there is a... I am. There, I would you know, say... All down I would down. say yeah, most please, markets... So. Most markets are probably average age is, what, all 65, wouldn't you I'm think? Here, all way here. And over there, too. All the dollars, Abby. Good. Really good stuff. Like, like if, you took, uh, if you took everybody who was shopping at the market... Right. And okay, set up, the average age is probably 65. No. Right. Is my guess. Wait, so what happens when no. you can... Well, I mean... That's what's oh. the... Like, the but see, I don't know, I don't know if uh, 30 years ago... Right. If the average age was, wasn't 64. You know what I mean? Like... It, no, but people I know, kind here's of, the reality, though, in my opinion. I could be wrong. The young people, the young generation, real young, do not like this shit. They like phones, they're, they're not interested. They're gonna dump I, I want to say I want to say you're kind of right, but there's also like people like Benny, who's who uh, I guess 
that I don't know. I see a lot of like if you go to the punk rock flea market. I never been there. But the these I'm gonna give you two for now. Okay? The amount of amount of young vendors there, like they they kind of okay. like repurpose stuff a little bit more and DYI it. All bucks. Okay. So. Could I trade this guy for this sure. guy? Sure, you could. All right, this I got one. I got five pieces. Okay, so, cool. thank you. Try to you know keep me in mind. Now here's the good thing for you. I'm gonna tell you the good thing for your age where you can make a fortune when we're older. The young ones are gonna dump. They'll still be existing at grandpa's and pop's house, right? Mm -hmm. Not as much, but they don't want it, right? Now, there's a good time. Okay, so it's a riveter. Eight, what, eight dollar, right? I think I'm gonna get that instead um, of this heart. But then you can get into the house because all the, me and him are gonna be, like by that time, not gonna be doing it, right? So, <laughs> Do you see yourself doing this in 20 years? No, I don't see myself around. Right. Exactly. exactly. Are you going to be around later if I need a five minute break? I'll try, right, yeah. All right, when you're done. Do you well, Whenever you're ready. But okay. I mean, at the very end, it doesn't I help. I think that might be 10, actually. Here, that is. I'm sorry about that. But try to get me some stuff. I will. But I'm saying you'll be able to get into the house, and they won't know from the old coin that you know, and you'll be, you know what? Well, it, it, you're right. I'll be hitting big uh, uh, clean outs. Yep. More than most, because the other people aren't going to be doing it. Can I talk you out of a bag? Uh, if I have a bag. How about a box? I'm pretty sure I, I switched that one pin for this yeah. thing. I think it's a riveter. Thank you. Thank you, man. Yeah, I mean, like... Like, oh... Oh, I would have delivered it for you. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. All, all the... I don't think they would have paid for that, though. Nah! It would have been a, a vacation for me yeah, to get the hell away. There you go. What, what have you been getting on records? Two bucks each. So... Like when I get a good box like this, mm -hmm. I'll uh, put two hundred dollars on the box, okay. and I won't sell anything out of it. And then somebody comes along and offers me a hundred, hundred and fifty, and I, I sell it. But I won't. I it, it has to be decent ones like this. I, it can't be like uh, yeah, you know what I mean, like classical and all that other stuff. But like Christmas tunes and all right. that shit. But if because all you're gonna do is for two dollars each, you're gonna sell. Every record that's worth twenty-five no, to fifty bucks. No, no, I pull all those out. Okay. Oh, you did research no, no. them all. Okay, good. Always. I don't. I try not to let too many things slip by me, but you know. No, I understand. I. This well, one. You know, I had. Almost looked like it was signed. I had a. Uh, I had a Pink Floyd with a poster in it this morning, and mm -hmm. I had. Uh, well, a couple other more expensive ones, and I told the record guys like, all right, this box is too much each, but this pile's you know a little bit more, and they, they wouldn't even look at it. <laughs> you know but what I mean? but yeah. at, at Lambertville, yeah. I've sold the box now like three or four times, and I average two hundred dollars a box of records. Okay. Right. So uh, cool. uh, like normally I start like three hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but who knows? Yeah, I might be doing it wrong. Everyone's got their own stick, man. If it's working for you, you know. I just figured I didn't only had to move the box once, put it on the table, and then it's gone. <laughs> All right. So Ben, how is how's life? Life is good, Dave. You got anything I can buy off you? Got a little box. <coughs> Actually, boxes. Nah, it's too new for me. It's, it's got the right Two paint, though. Two doll hairs. It's, it's too new. It was made in the 1950s, so it's too new. You can buy my vest, Dave. No, you're not selling your vest. I am. Only 4000 for you. $4,000. What? I like what, this what, one, what's, what's the best offer you got on Etsy for it? Uh, 1300 That's not bad. I said no. I gotta go. I'm gonna go buy a bunch of silver plate today. That's like one of, see the little cameo thing? Yeah. Or the, I thought that's what you stopped and looked at. Yeah. Little, that little is, stone. That is, that's what I saw. Stone scare. <laughs> um, when, yeah. you, when are you going to start your uh, YouTube? Ah, I've been just procrastinating on it, man. Every time I go to do it, I just end up uh, either finding a big load of something I got to process or I was, just uh, not doing it. My buddy Mike, who does uh, that one man's junk, he actually just, he's been putting out really, uh, really good videos. It took, him, it took him about five or six months to, you know, get the editing and everything else done. Watch a little bit of one. He's doing a good job. He's fun. That's a good one. 
I found I found one down in uh, Summers Point. One okay duck, all carved. Yeah. With glass eyes. Old one. Yeah. Points. Yo, brother man. Enjoy All right, Benny. Day, my brother. I'll, I'll see you later. Enjoy the day, Dave. Yo. Um, sure. Go have a uh, breakfast. Give me a call when you're done. Go have breakfast with Benny. Hey George, how you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah, not bad. What boxes could I just dig through? Um, that are not uh, spoken for. Okay, so are you nine, right? So if we give you ten, then you just tell me one. I gave you twenty. You didn't give me anything. <laughs> He's got a lot of silver plate. Thank you. Oh, use this brass actually. Sheet brass is always uh, always good for crafts. So yeah, you can pretty much put a box together. And then yeah, I think that's fair. Uh, do you mind if I fill this up? That'd be great. Do you want to do you want to tear it first? Yeah, I'm gonna go to breakfast with my buddy. Oh, cool. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Is it zero? Yeah, it was 3.95. Yeah. Do you have a marker? I probably do. Or you can just call it four. Yeah, we can. So. We're going to get a bunch of stuff, um, and we'll hopefully, uh, I can't decide if I'm going to take it to the smelter, or uh, we'll try to do uh, some reverse uh, electroplating. If you guys do want to see that, uh, please send me a, a message. I... Uh, I think I can do it without using chemicals. Um, and the nice thing is, since uh, I recommend uh, George here all the time, he will, uh, he's gonna sell me a fairly large load just to see if we can actually do this. Oh, you're going someplace? Bar of server, huh? Yep. <laughs> so I'm trying to find mostly the silver plated copper because my thought is if you de electroplate it and I buy it off of uh, George for fairly cheap, I can. Uh, Then sell it back to to him or the scrapyard for uh, copper price, and uh, not have to not have to worry about. Um, I, I guess then it would cost me a quarter of what um, I put out for it. So, I mean. These right here are, are zinc, the handles, so I've been trying not to get too many things with the with the large handles, but I don't know. If every week I come and pick a pile, I think I think we'll end up with a way more uh, plate than we'll ever know what to do with. 
and if the reverse electro plate works fairly well. Uh, since I do have access to hundreds and thousands of pounds, it would be a uh, Definitely, it would be interesting. We would uh, be able to put away a lot of silver. My guess is it's probably uh, less than. Uh, It's less than 2% silver, so if you buy 100 pounds, um, 100 pounds would be 1.5 pounds of silver at 1.5%. But I don't know if you'd be able to, what's it called, um, claim, reclaim everything. I'm trying to pull all the pieces that have uh, better plating. Um, since he's letting me pick instead of uh, instead of uh, taking everything so I don't know I think it'll be a fun experiment That's a nice, heavy, heavy piece. You can see the copper coming through that one. And like right here, it's been polished so much, so you never can tell by how many, uh, what you grab for uh, what you're gonna get because you don't know how much it's been cleaned, how much it's been used. Definitely, definitely makes it interesting. You can kinda see the plate coming off right here. Uh, it's just some salt, but I thought it was the plate peeling. And basically, he takes this today and goes right to the right to right to the smelter with it. Um, I don't know. If anybody has done the reverse plate electro uh, reverse electro plating um, with large quantities, uh, let me know how you did. I know uh, if it doesn't work, I I'm just going to take a huge load over to the to the smelter. Um, the last couple times I've done it, they uh, they paid out pretty well. It's just feels like I don't know. I don't feel like I can trust them. They uh, every once in a while they'll say that I it's basically uh, nothing's there or not nothing's there, but such a low percentage and it doesn't make sense compared to what uh, what I picked or what I sent in so but we'll see watch the fly yeah, that's a good one original numbered well this is this might be the early one before I Killer. Yeah, it is. Ten bucks. <laughs> wow, that's, nice. that's not bad. 
at all. Where, where'd you find that? Out, out there? Yeah, out in the wild, in the flea market. I mean, it's got, I don't know what it's worth. It's gotta be worth more than 10 bucks, so. I would think so. <laughs> Anything uh, with the fly is always a... Uh, Killer, right? Not bad, yeah. not the worst condition. No. Not the best, but it's great because it's, it's not but it's all destroyed. Yeah. You had other stuff that was destroyed. Did you buy the milk box today? Yeah. It's kind of fun. That's weird. Yeah, I got that for so... I read it. It's really bizarre. Well, about, like, we going to breakfast? Get my big golf side. Anybody need a big barn hanger? I know. Are, are you gonna Are you gonna put that on uh, Lloyd's Treasures? Nah, I got a I got a guy who likes them barn hangers. Oh. Uh, loves, loves big barn hangers. I get them. All right. Yeah. Next stop, breakfast. This might be my uh, favorite thing you got. I was at Brimfield. It's a too. It's a nice candy one though. At, yeah, a guy had that J and J. That's cool. It's heavy. Yeah. 50 bucks, I'll, I'll buy it. Make me some uh, kettle corn with that. Here's a nice old one. Is it Griswold? No, it's a rare one. I don't know what this CA is. The 11. I mean, it's 8 pre 1900. That's, prob that's probably number two. Number two. It's not, it might be 32. 11. Pretty knows? cool. Different. Good early one. The lid is cool. Yeah. Early. It's definitely early. All right, let's go. Boom. I don't know. It actually looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. Got smoked wings. I'm going to put on time lapse. <laughs> so, I did think of two more. Uh... He's got a little chip. Two more New Jersey uh, YouTubers that come to Columbus every once in a while. You have uh, Scrap Farm and uh, Tucker Upper. They're here all the time. Uh, you have Nostalgic. He he actually got me started. Uh, so there's definitely for Columbus. I, it's amazing how it's kind of like a mecca for. All the, all the different uh, channels, but I got to go finishing uh, that silver plate deal. Go give him some money. We had a decent breakfast. Just seeing if there was anything else I need. I guess we'll take off six pounds for. Okay. Say you're eighty pounds. Eighty pounds. Let's see if I can find another twenty. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to finish finish up the silver plate by. I got probably uh, I don't know. I have 80 pounds so far. I'm gonna try to put another 20 pounds on and uh, then get out of here. So made it back to the beach, but somebody's throwing out a. Uh, a milk can. Um, it was definitely a good uh, good day for uh, for finding stuff at the flea market. I was happy that I picked up a hundred pounds of uh, silver plate that I should end up getting uh, one percent back in silver. So that would be a uh, hundred. Out of 100 pounds, 1% 1 would be a one, pa one pound of silver. Um, but that's how much I'd get back if I sent it to the smelter. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I would get if I uh, if I do this um, experiment. I'm, I'm thinking about trying with the salt water, uh, but we'll see. Um, if you guys haven't yet, remember, uh, check out uh, One Man's Junk and uh, Tall Dan, uh, both both buddies I've set up with for years. Um, so, I don't know, if you can, 
give them a they're trying to get to the thousand subscribers all right see everybody later thank you very much for watching peace